This is the Elegoo Jupiter. It's a large format resin 3D printer, and this is also the Elegoo Jupiter, but it's the new Jupiter SE. It's the same large format resin 3D printer. However, it's coming in at a more affordable price point, and it's packing one extra feature that I wish all resin 3D printers had. Now, it might not look like it because of the different size and scale of these 3D printers, but the actual build volume is the exact same between both of these machines, and I believe it's using the exact same internal light source for both of these 3D printers. Elegoo's just gone out and tried to make a more affordable version for anybody looking to get into large resin 3D printing. And there's definitely some cosmetic differences between the two machines, as well as a few other small things here and there to help, I think, bring the price down to something that's more in line with maybe uh, other people's budgets and just being able to more easily obtain this 3D printer. And the most obvious is clearly this one has a really large acrylic hood that also has handles on the side so that you can lift this up when you're needing to access your prints or load up new files or whatever it is that you're working on with this printer versus the front door access that's on the standard Jupiter. The original Jupiter is also significantly heavier than the Jupiter SE. I don't know the exact specs on the weights. It was just so much heavier and heftier to get this thing up on this table and move this around compared to the SE model here. There's also no handles on the side of the SE like we have on the standard Jupiter. However, it's a lot easier to lift and get under there and carry and not have to worry because it just doesn't weigh as much. I think because of it's, it's missing all of these metal panels here. Now, if we lift the lid off and take a look inside, there are also some differences between the build plate and the vat of the two 3D printers. The new build plate has the four bolt system there when it comes to leveling this versus I think the Jupiter, the original Jupiter was pre-leveled, I, I believe. I can't quite remember, but it's, uh, it's at least to me, it's a little bit easier to level this with the four point system here. It's very similar to all of the other new Elegoo 3D printers as well. It's still rocking this locking mechanism here to, to lock it and tighten it in place. The build plate also has the Elegoo textured surface that we're seeing on all of their new machines where they weren't doing that on the older models of the Jupiter. But the build plates are the exact same size. So if you were looking into accessories or like flex plates, your Jupiter flex plates should fit on the Jupiter SE. Now the VAT is also slightly different. It has a completely different shape because this is now utilizing a different mechanism for auto loading resin. You'll also notice there that the VAT does not have the same handle design and instead has the built-in handles on the side. And it's also significantly lighter than the original Jupiter VAT. There are also two USB ports on the inside, one for the active filtration unit that we saw on the original Jupiter. And they've gone with an electronic auto feeding system here for the Jupiter SE. On the original Jupiter, it was directly built into the VAT where you had these little caps that would fit onto your bottles of resin. And then it would would just by gravity feed directly into the vat as it needed resin. And this is a more of electronic approach where it's gonna use these probes to sense the level of resin. And if it detects that it's low enough, it's gonna start auto feeding resin from a bottle that you have situ situated to the side of the printer or behind it, however you wanna place this. And it's gonna use the tubes to feed the resin in. Now we've seen this on some other resin 3D printers that are out there, very similar systems to this. However, what I have not seen, maybe it's out there, maybe I'm completely wrong, but the one thing that I'm kind of blown away by with this is the ability for this to not feed resin into the vat, it's the auto sucking out of the resin back into the bottle. So when you wanna actually empty out the vat, this system will take the resin and suck it back into the bottle and then automatically stop it once it's filled. That simplifies one massive area of complexity when it comes to working with any large resin 3D printer. And that's when you have a vat full of resin and then you need to swap it out, the process of just getting that and then pouring it back into multiple boxes bottles can be very cumbersome and messy. This alleviates a lot of that. Now, the process isn't entirely quick. I think it was about five to six minutes for it to mostly empty the vat that I had filled up here with resin. And then you can remove the bolts and tilt it sideways slightly, and it will then continue to feed back into the bottle. But even that made it so much easier to then lift the vat out and then completely dump it back into a bottle versus the old method, which was lifting the entire vat full of resin out and then trying 
trying to pour it very carefully back into a series of bottles. And again, you're gonna get the same build volume and screen resolution from the original Jupiter here on the SE, which is 277 by 156 by 300 millimeters on a 12.9 inch 6K mono screen display that's gonna allow you to print up to 51 microns. And an additional thing that they've added to the Jupiter SE is a massive cooling fan system on the back that's gonna allow air to more easily flow out of the machine to keep the lighting source cool and hopefully extend the lifespan of your display. Now the printer also has basically the exact same interface that we've seen on most of the Elegoo resin 3D printers. However, there is a few new functions for controlling or enabling or disabling the auto feeding system. And when you're taking the vat in and out of the printer, you'll need to make sure that you're aligning it back with the probe system. One thing to call out is I am seeing a little bit of resin splashing back up onto that plastic box of the auto feeder. There's also no network connectivity here on the SE, including Wi-Fi or an ethernet port on the side of the machine. I would have loved to have seen Wi-Fi functionality be added to this, very similar to what we have on the uh, Saturn 3 Ultra and the Mars 4 Pro. Or is it the Mars 4 Ultra? I think it's the Mars 4 Ultra. I'm, I'm now getting confused with the naming conventions. One other small change between the Jupiter SE and the regular Jupiter is the lead screw is a bit smaller or thinner compared to the beefy one that's available on the Jupiter. I almost forgot to mention the price, which is the big factor for this whole machine is a more affordable large format resin 3D printer. This is coming in at $700 directly over on Elegoo's website, which is about $200 cheaper than what we're seeing for the standard Elegoo Jupiter. And before we take a look at the prints, I wanted to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in more information about the Jupiter SE, you'll find links to that down below as well as the standard Jupiter. I'm also using Elegoo's rapid resin for almost all of these prints. And if you haven't tried it already, you definitely need to order a bottle and try it out for yourself. Honestly, this stuff is pretty great and I basically don't want to print with any of the other resins. Now I just need some more color options of this. Now before I did anything, I went off and printed a cones of calibration test that you can easily run in about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour depending on your resin settings that you're working with. And my settings right off the bat were pretty dang perfect here. So I've been running with that for basically all of these prints. One of the main things that I always run off and print are some miniatures. Even though this is a large resin 3D printer and you expect some large things, I wanted to max out the build volume surface with a whole bunch of miniatures and see how those turned out on this 6K resolution display. And they all look pretty good there. I mean, they're they're miniatures. They're, the details on them look really clean. Uh, I mean, unless I'm getting in there with a microscope or a fine, you know, the optics there, I'm not gonna really see any major flaws or issues on some of the prints. Uh, in some areas, I can slightly detect some layer lines there, but you have to look really close on these things. If your primary focus is just printing miniatures and those sort of things, I'd probably recommend just grabbing an Elegoo Saturn III Ultra or two Elegoo Saturn III Ultras instead of this massive one here. However, if you are into printing really big things like this goat skull that was from Photos Mint and Charo Zuck. And it is just amazing. This was printed in multiple parts here and I'll have the times listed on screen, 0 0.05 layer height. This print came out so friggin' good. I am just loving the details on this. You can definitely, when I come in, and I'll try and get some close-ups of where you can see some of the layering of where it's building up on the top surface there, but it's very hard to notice unless you're specifically looking for those things. I am also planning on painting this and finishing it because they offer a, not only is there a stand version, which is what I printed in resin here, I'm gonna print the actual uh, filament version of the wall wall mount so I can paint this and get it wall mounted here in the studio. And this is easily one of the coolest things that I've printed all year. Oh, and one of the best things is that the files, they had a pre-supported version specifically for these Jupiter sized 3D printers. So I just needed to load it up and 
hit print. Now, I also wanted to do a little bit of a print compare between the original Jupiter and the Jupiter SE. So I reprinted this Gambit bust by JP Smith Sculpts, and I could not be happier with the results that I'm getting off of the Jupiter SE. Now, here's the big problem. I went to record this video and I grabbed the Gambit head and you're probably noticing, hey, he's missing the little stick that was sticking out of his mouth there that he, you know, has in his mouth. Yeah, it's because I dropped the head on the ground and that little bit snapped off and I cannot for the life of me find it to secure it back in place. So I might just reprint this here overnight so I have the completed version of it that we can take a look at. Now this might not be an entirely fair comparison of looking at the original bus that I printed, I don't know, two years ago now, uh, versus this one because this, the original is a bit banged up. I never finished it or painted it or anything like that and it's been sitting in a closet in a box there. So it's a little scratched up and doesn't quite look as good. Also, I think I didn't have anti-aliasing turned on on this original print and you can definitely see on the sides of the head where some of the print buildup marks were occurring. But on the newest version here, I did have anti-aliasing enabled and you can't see that at all. The details just look incredible on this. It, it, this is exactly what this machine is designed for, is printing big, cool sculptures like this. And again, one thing that you're definitely gonna have to consider between the Jupiter SE and the standard Jupiter is this large acrylic hood. And if you have enough space to one, lift it up and out of the way, but also have somewhere that you can sit it when you're not actively printing. And if you've been in the market for a large resin 3 printer that isn't as expensive as some of the others that are out there, the Jupiter SE might be the perfect option for you. And again, prints pretty dang great. I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in things like my Jupiter resin 3D printing settings or the support settings that I used for these 3D prints, I'll have those in my Patreon. But let me know what you all think about the Jupiter SE and Elegoo's attempt at making a more affordable large format resin 3D printer. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time.